OK, if you're sick and tired of the same old soggy sandwiches, then never fear, because Chef Mark is here all this week with the best sandwich ideas you can create at home. I love sandwiches, so what are we starting with? All right, we're going to kick it off with a classic. So we've got beef and caramelised onion <laughs> sliders. Yum. So something a little bit different. We're going to roast the beef nice and pink. We're going to make a horseradish mayonnaise with this fresh horseradish, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. A bit of watercress and some gherkins. Really simple. And those beautiful caramelised onions. Simple, but will taste delicious. And I'm really yep. excited about sandwich. So week. am I. I love a good sandwich. <laughs> OK, we're all going to love it, I'm sure. And we'll get the recipe going a little later in the show. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. And we are revolutionising the humble sandwich this <laughs> week. Thanks to Mark. I am really excited about this. Nothing quite like a good sandwich but, you know, after a while you need some inspiration and that's exactly, exactly. what you're going to give us. and that's what we're doing. You know, I suggested this a couple of weeks ago yep. and everyone was like, sandwiches? Uh, sandwiches. What are you going to do there? <laughs> Ham sandwich. No, no, we are doing some brilliant sandwiches. And today we're starting with? We're doing a beef and horseradish and caramelised onion sandwich. Classic but beautiful. Mm, yeah. And if you think this is great, Wait until you see the rest of the week. Okay, it's going to well, be absolutely fantastic. Well, right. you, you start this. And while you start this, you can answer this question. What is, you know, the secret to a good sandwich? Is it the bread? Is it the Oh, the I think it's everything. Or? It's everything, isn't it? You've got to, you have to get the right bread for the right sandwich. You ah, know? It's not easy. You, you can't go. just throw it on any old bread. You know, you need, you need certain breads for the right sandwich. You need texture, you need flavour, you, you need some moisture in there, a bit of mayonnaise or some sauce in there. You need, well, you okay, need lots of things, you, you know? <laughs> it's, it's not easy to make a good sandwich. Right. Onions, uh, yes. so pan, a little bit of oil in there. That's yep. quite hot, so it we'll, just, hot. Uh, we'll okay, just take cool. that down. Uh, and then I've just got the onions. So onions, I've uh, taken the tops off. I've taken the root off as well, because okay. we're not dicing it. And then, so like this and that. Turn it on its side, and then you can do nice slices, and you can go all the way through the onion. Nice slices, uh, all right. There's a little tip for you there. So nice uh, slices, and this is going to be the caramelised onions. Okay, so I guess part of it too is just getting the right size for fillings in the sandwich as well. Exactly, yes. exactly. If you don't put enough in the sandwich, it's not going to taste nice. Right. And it's just going to be it's just going to be bread. It's going to yeah. all be bread. <laughs> and uh, if you put too much in, it's just going to look like a mess, but it will taste good. Quantity so, is key. Exactly. So you probably want to work on like maybe a third bread, two thirds filling. OK, good. Nice. OK, I'll keep an eye on your onions. Right, onions. So in there, so, you know, bit of heat in there. We're going to keep cooking over medium heat. Bit of time. Yep. Um, onions love time. So you can do some salt and pepper. Okay, good. <laughs> salt and you, pepper. You trust me with the big jobs, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, After two and a half been, years. Has, has been three years, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice knob of butter in there as well. Okay. Onions time, love butter. So do we. And that's just going to help you make these beautiful onions, you know. Your fat's going to melt, it's going to caramelise them nice and um, evenly and bring out that sugar in there and the taste, okay? Well, it smells good. All right, it does. And, and you want to take a lot of time doing this, okay? If you if, if you've got a lot of time, more than us, obviously. But the longer and the slower and longer you cook your onions, the more flavour you're going to get out of these. Right? And and again, make a big batch of them. Yep. Keep it in the fridge, and you can put it on anything. There you go. Uh, right, steak. Be nice on pizzas, actually. Too. I said, yeah, be beautiful. Yeah. Right, steak. So um, I fill it. Mm -hmm. So I've got a really good steak. Can I have the salt and pepper. Too? Yes, you can, chef. Right. right. So this has just been taken out to room temperature. So it's been out for about 20 minutes. So it's nice and soft. Okay, good bit of salt and pepper on there. And I've got a pan here, so this is warming up, so this is a nice hot pan. Get some oil in there. Yep. Get the oil hot. And then we're going to cook the steak. Okay. So, you know, it's a nice piece of steak. Obviously, we're going to slice this and divide it between our buns. You don't want to put the whole thing on what, well, you could if you wanted, if you were greedy. Oh, well, I would. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but we just, we, you know, so it's a, it's a nice piece, but it's not too thick, so we'll be able to cook it all in the pan. So okay. we want a nice medium rare. So important thing with the steak, get a good seal on it, nice hot pan, get that caramelisation for flavour, flip it over, get it to the cooking uh, temperature and degree you want to, and then let it rest before we slice it. So we'll get the steak cooking now. OK, so make sure it's at room temperature before you cook it, then make yep. sure you rest it after you've cooked it. Yeah. OK, yeah. great. And then a bit more salt and pepper, and then so we'll just carry on cooking that. Onions are cooking down. Nicely. And then we'll be ready for the next uh, the oh. next stage. Oh. We can make some horseradish mayo. This is great. Oh, is, that, is that horseradish? That's horseradish, yeah. Oh, okay. It's not in a jar now, Mike. I know. <laughs> I've only ever seen it in a jar or a tube. But there it is, raw. And we're going to show you what to do with that in just a minute. Oh, things are shaping up brilliantly here. This is going to be fantastic, our roast beef slider. We are back in the Beko kitchen, and Mark's got the perfect lunch sort of roast beef sliders with caramelised mm. onions. OK, so Yummy. what do we need to do now? Right, so the steaks have just been turning, so yes. you've got nice, nice caramelisation on both sides. 
And uh, so it's not far off, it's nearly finished now. So Good. what I like to do to make your steak taste even better, knob of butter in there. A knob of butter. No, it's quite a small one, actually. <laughs> yeah, for you it is. A lot, a lot more in the restaurant. Let the butter melt. Bit of fresh thyme in there. Yes. Season the butter as well. Sort okay. Of slows it down from burning. Ah. And then what we're going to do is just toss your steaks around in that butter. Nice. You know, so you've got all that flavour of the thyme in the butter. We're basing it. We're getting all the flavour on there. You know, your butter's sort of, you know, it's starting to go nutty as well. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. You could actually just put one of those on his slider, actually. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Lunch. And we're going to we're going to take the steak out. Okay. And then we're going to let it rest. Okay. okay. And then we'll we'll carry on. Sweet as. Right. So what we're going to do now? Little mayonnaise, uh, horseradish mayonnaise. So just get some, uh, you know, some mayonnaise from your yes. store. Yep. Um, horseradish. So, you know, if you're lucky, you can get this in the supermarkets like certain times a year. Okay. If not, grow it yourself. It's great fun. Okay. You've just got to dig it up because it's the root. So this is the actual root of the uh, horseradish. Okay, right. And that's what you use. And then, um, just want to grate it in here. Okay, that looks so easy. So grate it in, and it's really good. But it's uh, it's a bit like onion, you know, when you grate onion and you sort of, your eyes water. If you okay. grate a lot of horseradish, it's like, um, it's what like does it do to you? Straight. <laughs> it's like really strong. Oh, it'll make you cry. Yeah, I mean, not not like a little bit like this. Right. Well, actually, while you while you're doing that, I just wanted to say congratulations because Mark, overachiever, he has been nominated <laughs> for outstanding chef in the Lewisham Awards, which is very prestigious. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. Brilliant. Right. So I don't want to use national TV, but if you're in HOSPO, you're allowed to vote. So only HOSPO people, so go to the Lewis Shims and vote for me. Yeah, vote. Go on. <laughs> he's, been he, he's been nominated for a lot recently and he hasn't won much. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and he deserves to win. So yeah, please vote. Nice work. So we've created the horseradish. Right, so yeah, lots of fresh horseradish in there. A little bit of lemon juice. Ooh, shoot. A little Sorry. bit. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then... I'm going to caramelise beautifully now. <laughs> No, that's good. That yeah, you can, smell good. Yeah, you can get a little bit of colour on. That's really yeah, good. Yeah, good. Uh, so getting to that stage, a little bit of balsamic vinegar in there. Okay. Just something different. Take it off the heat now. Yep. Stir it around. It will just burn off that sort of like really sharp acidity and go into the onions with all that butter and just give it a nice little edge. We've got a beautiful creamy horseradish and mm. mayo. We've got some fresh watercress, which is really nice with beef. Um, a few gherkins as well or pickles. Just slice them on the angle. That's all ready to go. Nice. And then... What we're going to do is our sliders. Yes. You know, we need to toast the buns. Okay. You know, these sliders have got some um, uh, sugar in there as well. All right, and so here. if we warm it up and lightly toast them, you can just do it on a in a on dry pan, pan, or you can put Sweet. some oil or butter in if you want. But it's quite nice just dry, or even in a hot oven or under the grill. You know, you just get a bit of colour, and they'll just fluff up. They'll go really nice and fluffy. Nice, brilliant. Okay, so your steak. Now, while we're here, right, yeah. you need to teach me a bit more about how you know how your steak's done. Because yes. people do all this sort of stuff, I'm, I'm confused. What's happening? Well, I'm going to show you. Right, so how do you know the steak's cooked? Yes. You know, you've got to prod it. So okay. if you prod it there, so you can see you've got a nice little spring there. Yeah. But it's it's not too springy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Trying to explain it without like chef jargon. It's just like yeah, it's crazy. So you you, you want a spring in there. So the harder you, your meat is, yes, um, the, the more least. it's going to be cooked. Okay, good. Okay. So it's always a good idea to uh, prod your steak when it's raw. Obviously, do it in private. <laughs> it's just a bit better. <laughs> so I just sort of prod it, and then you know it's do raw. It in private. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it just looks a bit weird if you just like you know, having a dinner party. <laughs> so if you just if you you know you just lightly uh, press it when it's raw, you know it's raw, and that's that's the feeling what you get. So and you then, got to remember that, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. And then as you cook it, you want to keep feeling it, right? And then you'll feel it sort of tightening up a bit. But if you get your hands and you get your thumb and your first finger and make sort of a ring, mm -hmm. and then just sort of squeeze it here, yes. right, you know, through both sides, you know, that's like a rare. So yep. you can see that. Prod. If you move to your next um, finger, oh, you, yeah, you get a bit more resistance. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. So you got medium rare, and then so so on. You so you get medium, and then right at the end, it's a lot tighter. So you're getting sort of medium well to well done. Okay, good. That's some good lessons. And that's Thank it. you. And then uh, what you want to do now? Just slice this. Mm. So if it's if it's well rested, you get a nice pink. Uh, Centre, so oh, some nice is, slices, and then we'll just stack it up. Beautifully cooked, Mark. There you go. Well, salting the butter made all the difference. Oh, that, that you've got to try it. If you've never tried it, you've got to try it. You'll never uh, go back. No, I like that tip. You'll never come out to a restaurant again either. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so onions are there. We'll just yep. have a look Ooh. at our buns. Oh, yeah, that's looking, they're looking right. So they just sort of puff up. More. So just lightly uh, toast them. Yep. And then once they're toasted, I'm going to start building. 
Brilliant. And it's going to be uh, absolutely fantastic. Okay, and if you want to see how he's built it, then stick around at the end of the show. We will show you that. And of course, the recipe, if you want, is on our website. You can go there, thecafe.co.nz. And don't forget, if you've got a creation that you've made from one of Mark's recipes, share it on our Facebook page. Well, these sliders, Mark, they look brilliant. Thank you. Turned out very well, haven't they? What a great way to start Sandwich Week. What are you doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got a tuna and black olive and griot sandwich.